I'd like to show you a basic muscle dish. Not these muscles, muscles as in the bivalve, the little black things you get sometimes at restaurants. They're extraordinarily easy to prepare. They just need some wetness and some heat. They need to be properly cleaned and prepped, but that's easy too. Uh, go to a store that deals well in fish, buy mussels that don't smell like fish, it should just smell fr fresh, kind of like seawater if you can, and then store them in the refrigerator in a bowl covered with a wet towel. They'll stay that way for several days. Uh, don't submerge them in water or they'll drown. They're alive. When you're getting ready to prepare them, rinse them very well. Um, you can dunk them in water in that case, but quickly put them in a colander or a sieve and let them get uh, any um, dirt or anything that's on the outside of the shells off. Then you want to take a look at them, toss them. If they are open and won't close, these are dead. And you don't want to cook them because the, the, it's not, they're not fresh. So press and see if they close. If they don't, clack them together. And if they still don't close, discard them. And then you want to de-beard them. When they grow, they grow on poles like this. So they attach themselves with this beard. So the way to, to de-beard is to pull it towards the hinged end and pull it off. Sometimes it's hard to do. A small piece of dried paper towel is helpful. See, and the beards come off. But you want to rinse them, de-beard them, and then uh, prepare them for cooking by putting them in a pot with some aromatics and something uh, wet. And we'll start this over here on the heat. liquid in which to steam the mussels open. Get everything ready at the table, get the bread out and all the things you're gonna use to soak up the mussel juice because it only takes two or three, sometimes four minutes to cook a pot of mussels ready for the table. Yeah, we're pretty much done, almost. Use a little fork to get the meat out of the mussels, which is fine. But I want to show you a trick that my mother, a Belgian, taught me. Get a small one, get the meat out of it, and then you've got a perfect little pincer to take the meat out of the others as you go along. Mmm, those are delicious.